So after his shock loss yesterday to Gael Monfils and the outburst that he had on court, which was a very rare one for Carlos Alcaraz, he's actually apologized for the outburst on behalf of himself and, of course, to everybody who is a fan of his. Let's have a look at what he actually had to say in the apology and also what he said after the match as well regarding the outburst. This is what Alcaraz had to say over on social media. I apologize because my attitude yesterday was not correct and it is something that should not be done on the track. I'm human. I had a lot of nerves inside and sometimes it is very difficult to control yourself when your heart rate is so high. I will work so that it does not happen again. Time to think about New York. And this is what he actually had to say after the match at the press conference saying, I think it was the worst match I've ever played in my career. I couldn't play honestly. I felt like it was another sport playing on center court than the other courts. So there it is, Carlos Elgres, classy act, apologizing. I don't think he needed to apologize. I mean, how many players break rackets on the daily? And we don't get any apologies from them. But look, he's a classy guy and, of course, apologizing. When it happens to these guys like Djokovic or Federer or, you know, well, Rafa never breaks rackets. But when it happens to these guys that don't do this, it's sort of a shock to everybody. And that's probably why there was such a reaction to Elgres doing it because we've never seen him do it. I mean, imagine if Sinner had broken a racket, we'd be like, that's out of character, that's a bit weird. So you can tell that, you know, something's going on, or at least he wasn't feeling it yesterday. I don't know, who knows what would have been going on in his head. He's gonna go to New York, unfortunately with no wins, but he's gonna go to America, or he's gonna go to the US Open with no wins. How do you think he's gonna go with the US Open? Let me know down in the comments below. How do you think he's gonna go with the US Open? Having, you know, played so well on the clay, played so well on the grass, but no wins on hard court going in. I mean, Djokovic doesn't have any wins either, so they're both going in, the two most informed players right now, going into the US Open with no hard-court form, but Carlos Elgros apologizing for his actions yesterday, and he's lost him on feast.